Hello, and welcome to 90 Days of Devotion. I'm Pastor Henry D. Phillips of the Open Door House of Prayer, and want to thank you for joining us on this journey towards a deeper, healthier relationship with God. Today is day 86. Almost completed the journey. And don't worry if, you know, on day 90, you say, hey, uh, I don't know if I felt like I did you know, on day one, because unless you've been journaling, unless you've been keeping track, this 90 day trek, it really, uh, it, 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 it's slow going. You don't feel anything instantly, but I guarantee you, if you have been journaling and you go back to day one, you will see a difference in how you feel your attitudes. You'll see a change. And, I'm going to bet that it's a change for the better. So with that being said, let us read our scripture for today, coming from Ephesians uh, chapter 2, verse 8, from the New Living Translation. God saved you by his grace when you believe, and you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Okay, get this. Grace isn't about keeping score or earning points. It's like God is saying, you're part of the family. No ifs, ands, or buts. Ephesians 2 and 8 reminds us that our place at the table is saved. Not because of our flawless record, but because of God's boundless love. What a relief, right? Uh, it means that we can go uh, and stop listening to that inner voice that's telling us that we need to do more, or we need to be more in order to belong. This grace whispers that we're already enough, already loved deeply just as we are. It invites us to live each day, not striving for approval, but overflowing with gratitude for this unconditional welcome. So today, let's soak in that grace. Let it shape our words, guide our deeds, and influence how we see others as well as ourselves. It's about passing on that same no-strings-attached love to everyone we meet, creating ripples of kindness and acceptance. In a world that's quick to judge and to uh, slow to forgive, let's be beacons of God's grace, living proof that love doesn't demand perfection, just an open heart. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we marvel at your grace, a gift that changes everything. Your word reminds us that our place in your embrace isn't earned, but freely given out of your boundless love. This brings a peace that silences the world's demands. We are valued, deeply loved, simply because we are yours. Help us truly live in the light of this grace. Let it shape our words, guide our choices, and soften our hearts towards others. Empower us to share your unconditional love with the world that's lost in conditions. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right. Well, that completes the devotion for day 86, but don't let it end there. Read the whole chapter of Ephesians uh, 2, or go and pray for another 15, 20, 30 an hour, just spend time with God today. Uh, write down how you feel in a journal or something like that. But th this is just meant to be a seed that you plant in good ground and that it grows to be uh, something that's beautiful, something that's enduring. Uh, your relationship with God is being strengthened by the amount of time that you spend with them. 
want to thank you for joining us on this 90-day journey. Once again, I'm Pastor Henry Phillips uh, with the Open Door House of Prayer, and this is 90 Days of Devotion. May your day be blessed.